right, Shalom Rastafari, and this is uh, America, right, 2013. The sign of Jonah? Question mark. The sign of Jonah? So many things are overlapping, so many um, different um, time and space. This is why when, when, when the Moshiach said that no one know the day or hour because the Father, Abba Kedus, 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 the true Father of our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, has caused at the end of the age for all of these um, timelines. This is why when you look at what go, what's going on nowadays, you see at different times, different historical timelines which seem to be almost mystically overlapping. You know, it seems like this, and then it then it begins to seem like that, and it's like, but these are, when you study history, you like, it's like, it's like a repeat of historical time and space. So what's up with Obama now, right? Obama now, right? Obama now is going to, uh, to Israel. He finally has, I guess, sealed the deal because he said to Benjamin Netanyahu, he said, you're going to have to have a coalition government, right, before he goes out there. Then the sequester came about. Right, and, and the Pope resignation, all these kind of different. If you know who the players are prophetically, right, and not pathetically, pathetically is when you don't know, or you, or you still are watching the news on TV and the media, which is the fourth estate, which is basically you could say the, the political arm or, or the, you know, of Babylon. You know, it's meant to confuse you. You understand? It's meant to confuse you, but to give you, you understand, little bits and bites. But if you're not about studying and knowing the truth for yourself, you will never know that America, right? America is going through right now the, the, the great whale, the Jonah. This is the Jonah prophecy. Now, we, we had connected that Jonah, right? When we look at Jonah or Jonas, Jonah, right? Jonah in the Hebrew, it means dove. Right? It means dove. You can also see a contraction of Johannes and the grace of God in that because a dove is a sign of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit. Now, if we have the Holy Spirit on one hand, right, that means we would have, you know, according to Einstein and other science that has been proven to be compatible for true interpretation of the Bible, uh, a kind of an equal, at least, or opposite reaction. So that means if you have a Holy Spirit, then you have an unholy spirit. You know what I'm saying? You have a Holy Spirit and an unholy spirit. Now, there's a lot of things that are kind of connected right here, and one of them that was just so overt and obvious even before today was Caesar, the whole thing about Caesar. You understand? Caesar, beware of the Ides of March. But folks see Obama here in a Photoshop image as Caesar, right? Um, and black people still don't get it just yet. You know what I'm saying? Even though that fox... Jamie Foxx, you know, he said Obama is our black Lord and Savior, right? You know, um, well, he said that basically Obama is their Lord and Savior, right? Not ours. Ours is the real, but the real says that there'd be the counterfeit before the real. Now, in the same way when Christos, when Yeshua, when the Moshe was crucified, what did the people who are Ethiopian Hebrew black people, Tassus, the Roman historian, in his histories, he proves that right there, and he wrote circa via the time of 70 A.D., right, when the Romans, right, when the Romans destroyed Jerusalem, right, and it said that Antichrist would be connected with, with that same kingdom, right? So we see Rome is in the news, the Vatican's in the news, and now the new Roman pontiff is a overt Jesuit, you understand? So, I mean, how much more... You know, um, coincidence can you get? I mean, co one coincidence is a coincidence. Five, six, seven, eight of them is more than a coincidence, and therefore we are in prophetical time and space. Mm -hmm. So he says, give us Barabbas. We want Barabbas, right? We don't want Yeshua, right? They also said that we have no king but Caesar, right? And then the Bible says to give unto Caesar what is Caesar's, and give unto God what is God. All right? Remember, they slayed, you know, they slayed the shepherd, right? And remember who they slayed? They slayed Martin Luther King, right? The shepherd and the sheep wandering in the wilderness of North America, right, have become scattered, right? In Jonah, in the prophecy of Jonah, in the whale's belly, right? In the whale's belly. We are food, right, for the system. Look at the prison industrial complex. 
You see what I'm saying? I mean, I mean that's the, that's one overt example. I mean, and and we could just co and tell pro Operation Garden plot stop the rise of the Black Messiah. Why do they want to stop the rise of the Black Messiah? Because that's the only true Messiah. I mean, you know, I mean, you can believe fantasy, you can believe the lie, the deception. You understand? But the movers and shakers of Babylon, they know. Right, because when you start to study how and why they operate and what they do, and you understand the proper and the correct, the rightly divided word of truth, you begin to see the overlap right there. And all of these things are those which testify of he who is who he is, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos, Jesus Christ. Right? And now we have Christ and his kingly character, and Ethiopia is connected with this as well. So let's bring up what Christ said now. Because he, here he is foretelling his death and his resurrection, right, and his resurrection. Then certain scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we would see a sign from thee. You know, they say, Rasta, your God is dead. You know, they say, Baha'u'llah is dead. You understand? Where's your God, right? So the same way they ask, well, we would see, right, we would see a sign of thee, right? Well, you see a sign of God in the wars and the rumors of wars. Don't you see his hand there, right? But he answered and said to them, an evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. That's why if you do some vids or whatnot, signs, you just look up the videos and other things, everything is, oh, the sign, sign, this sign, that sign. You see the sign, look at that symbol, look at the sign, you know. Um, an evil and adulterous generation, they seek the sign, right? And for the signs that they get, they still don't get it yet, right? They seek the sign, but for the signs that they, that they get, they don't get it yet. Black people don't get it yet. My people don't get it yet. My people come out of her. Come out of Babylon before it's too late. So an evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonah. No sign shall be given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonah. Right? So here we have America. Right? If you look at America carefully, it even looks like a whale. I mean, not just from how it looks. But let's get into the detail of the book, right? Verse 40 says, For as Jonas, remember Jonah means dove in the Hebrew, Yonah, and then also means in the Vulgate or the Western Gentile Bible, it means Columbia. So Cologne, Columbia, and D.C. is called the District of Columbia, right? For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, right, in the belly of the beast, Right? And check out Steve Quayle's videos and audios and the radios where he's talking about and others talking about what goes on underground, right? What goes on underground, you know? I mean, look at, look at how many um, um, missing black children, you understand, and women, you understand, and even men there are, how many missing people there they, they are, you understand? For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Now, Yeshua was speaking, right? He, he is speaking, right, of his death and the, the, the crucifixion, the death, and the resurrection right here, right? Then it says, then the men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment. Now, which men of Nineveh are we talking about? First of all, where is Nineveh? Where was Nineveh? Nineveh was northern Iraq, was what they call Kurdistan, right, connected to Babylon, ancient Babylon, right? That was, right, that was, so we see Syria is in the news as well, and there's a prophecy here concerning Syria, Libya already, Egypt already, even the, what happened in Ethiopia last year, you know, is part of that same divine prophecy that we find in Donnell and throughout the prophets, the men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it because you're lost sheeple, right? Because you don't recognize, you're blind to the fact. You're blind because of Babylon, blind baby, blind Babylonians, blind to the fact. 
because they repented not. They did not repent at the preaching of Yonah, right? Because they, they did not, because, excuse me, excuse me, because they repented. This generation is not repenting, right? But the, the, the men of Nineveh, they repented at the preaching of Yonah. And behold, a greater than Yonah or Jonah is here. Now notice this part. Verse 42 is very important, and here's where the connection with Ethiopia, right, is in the prophetic scripture, the half of the story that in the white Western Gentile world, um, either they don't know or if they know it, they suppress it, right? They suppress it because they have no king but Caesar, right? The queen of the south, speaking of the queen of Sheba, shall rise up in the judgment. So now we get two points on the map. Right, the queen of the south, right, shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. So truly, truly, we have a greater than Solomon. Right? We have a greater than Solomon in Ketamari Hala Selassie. We have a greater than Solomon in this prophetic space and time fulfilling the book. Ethiopia shall rise. That's to say that the, the, the true black people who are like the children of Israel, Amos 9 and 7, shall rise. Right? But there shall be a separation of those who have the mind of Christ right, from those who have the mind of of the Babylonians or the never, never, never land mind because they, right, they are stuck and being digested in the belly of <laughs> the belly of the beast, right, or the belly of the whale. So when you look at America, what's going on in America? If, if, if you know anybody who lives outside of America and other parts of the world and they ever talk to you about America, or you can probably go on the Internet. Folks are looking at at this generation and saying, how can they be so blind? Mm -hmm. How can they not know? And although there is the, there is the poisoning and the water, the fluoride and the food and the other aspects, and that's bad in itself causing cancer and disease, it's because the people, right, have not repented, right? They have not repented, right? They have not repented, therefore they have not come out of Babylon, right? And they're not protected according to our divine heritage. Repent, repent before it's too late. 